All right, I'm here with my 2022 Telluride, and today I'm going to put the hitch on and the wiring. And these cars are difficult to find, and a lot of people are ordering them, and you'll order them the way you want them spec'd. And that way you don't have to add things like I'm doing right now. Um, this car was a cancellation, so I was able to buy it and not have to wait months and months. So it has everything I want, but it didn't come with the tow package. So um, I'm going to give up the self-leveling rear shocks, but I'll have the hitch and the wiring, and uh, I'll be happy with that. So... Um, what I purchased was the OEM kit, so it has the trim, um, it'll have the uh, tow package trim piece down here, and it'll have the OEM hitch and the seven wire um, wiring, the, the seven pin wiring for the trailer, and I'm going to have to put a brake controller up front, so I'll do that after I get this hitch up but uh, I'll try to put all the part numbers in the description of the video so that you have the OEM parts um, you can save money if you go third party and um, like Kurt uh, manufacturing they make their own trailer uh, hitch which is cheaper than the OEM but um, I, I want the clean look with the trim piece I want it to look like OEM so I spent a little bit more honestly I don't think it's a huge difference once everything's said and done if you put all the pieces together but anyway we can talk more about that at the end of the video but let's get started all right so I've got the car up on ramps I think uh, it'll be easier to work outside today with the ramps put down some cardboard um, so here's the Here's the kit that I bought, and like I said, I'll try to put links and part numbers in the description. But I believe this is the box for just the uh, hitch. And the seller put all the rest of the parts in here, I'm hoping. I'll, uh, we'll find out when I open the box. But it should be that trim piece and also the, uh, the wiring harness. So we'll take a look at that when we get there. But first thing we want to do here is remove the spare tire so you're going to undo your cargo cover and it's basically a matter of spinning that nut so let me get a, a tool all right so that's a 21 inch nut and there's the spare and you're basically just going to loosen this thing and it should just lower itself Okay, and we'll move this out of the way, and we'll raise this back up to get it out of the way. Um, you also have the wrench for that included in the car, so you don't need to use a drill driver for an impact. All right, so now we want to lower this exhaust and the way to do that is we have to remove this mount. Uh, there's one up here and one right here. Okay, so I'm looking at the front of the car. We got this, that, and one up there. Now, I've got a tool for this but um if you don't you can work these off easy enough i mean you just what i would do is kind of put a little penetrating oil on this shaft to try to get it in there and then just keep working and slide this out but let me get my tool and it should just come right off so here's the tool you can get this at amazon for 
probably like 20 bucks. Alright, so we've got the exhaust hanging down now. You can see I removed it there and the other two mounting points. So now we want to remove this trim piece here. And it looks like we've got these plastic fasteners here that just pry out. So see what we got here. On the inside we've got one, two, three, four Phillips heads. And yeah, so let's remove all of those fasteners and we'll come back. All right, these things are very straightforward. You see what happens there. Okay, um, hopefully you can see this. This trim piece has a tab here and this tab pushes against this once it's clipped. Now this tab is part of the uh, bumper cover and this is part of the trim piece. So basically if you pry from here you can work the piece down, okay? So that's what you're gonna do all along the sides and then in the front we'll take a look when we get there. Okay, hopefully you can see this but you're basically just working your way around all right here's the front okay so now we're over here on the left side we have to remove this big plastic piece so what it is, is you got the, the same plastic fasteners down here and a couple screws or uh, nuts up here, okay? So let me get some tools. Okay, so we're pulling this down here. These, there you can see the, uh, the nuts there. They're plastic, they're 14 millimeter. You don't even need a wrench. Just put them on an extension and use your hand. You can just unscrew them and the whole thing pulls down. All right, so now we've got everything ready to go and I'm gonna open up that hitch box and let's see what we got. That is the harness. There's the part number there. Some instructions. This is probably hardware, the bolts that I need to mount the hitch. More instructions. And hitch. Alright, let me pull this out. Alright, and here's the trim piece. That's the part number there. Okay, so it was a loose bag of hardware. I just put this stuff together to organize it, make sure I use the proper um, pieces. So, um, if you look at these washers, I don't know if you can tell, they're a little concave. So you want to position them properly because as you push them under compression, you want them to kind of have to expand. And that'll kind of help uh, prevent these things from loosening up from vibration and such. So just make sure when you put these washers on that you position them properly. Uh, these smaller bolts, they're, they're going to go up into the frame. These longer ones are going to go sideways across through the frame. So uh, I do have these two left over, which will go on this side. There are no um, washers on this side. All right, let me just show you one other thing. So see this here? That's the bumper locating pin here and here. There's one on each side. You actually have to bend those toward the center of the car because the hitch is going to slide behind here and there's not quite enough room. So before I try to wrestle that thing up, I'm going to make sure that I've got this positioned a little bit out of the way, like a half inch, bend it out of the way. I'll probably use like a claw, claw hammer. Like, let's see if I can do it with a... 
I mean, even that is probably enough, but I'll probably tweak it a little more. All right, so you can see it's bent away now. So both sides. All right, here's my plan. I'm gonna put that thing on my chest. I'm gonna raise it up. And I've got these bolts ready to go. And all I have to do is just get one through and it'll at least hold up on one side. Then I'll do that for the other side. And I can rest, uh, I can rest the hitch on this muffler uh, because it's supported by the tie down. So that's the plan. Hopefully when I'm back, it'll be up. All right, so I've got it hanging now. Everything's loose, but all the bolts have been started. And now I'm gonna look at the torque figures and we'll figure out what we're doing here for tightening torque. All right, with all the bolts loose, the sequence of tightening is you're gonna do these two nuts first. Okay, and that's what I'm doing now. I've got a torque wrench on them and you bring them to 80 Newton meters. All right, so those get torqued to 80. And then we come over to this side and these bolts right here and here, which will be the nuts are on the other side there. Um, those get torqued to 107 Newton meters. Once you've got all of the side bolts done, then you're going to do these bottom ones. Okay. The four bottom ones get torqued to 62 Newton meters. Um, just FYI, these are 17s, 17 millimeter. On those, these are, let's just double check here. Yeah, those are 19s. Okay. So these side ones are 19s and then these are 18 I believe let's see now hold on uh, these are, I believe might be 17s all right it's time to do the wiring for the seven pin connector and this is what they give you in the kit they give you instructions and I'm gonna zoom in on this one illustration here um that's i'm going by that i'm trying to figure out what i'm supposed to do um and after looking at it a few times uh i think i think i got it so let's look at it here so this is behind that plastic piece that we removed earlier these two studs here and here are to um, fasten the plastic piece okay so this all this wiring is behind it all right so from what I understand we're gonna remove this right here pull this down and then this piece will get fastened to that with a 10 millimeter nut there's also a double sticky tape uh, that'll go over here then this gets zip tied to that right here where my thumb is so that'll get zip tied to fasten that then everything gets routed over to the uh, hitch so what I need to do is remove this right now and clean this area and then I'm gonna fasten that piece and start to secure things to it Alright, so this just pops right off. Alright, so now that's free. There's the stud that we have to put the 10 millimeter nut on. And from what I can tell, the orientation of this will go something like that. So you don't want to go like this. You don't want to get too close to that stud. Otherwise, that plastic cover is not going to come on. Um, Alright, so if you go like at this angle, I think that's the way to go. And I've got my double uh, sticky tape on there, a little foam tape that they give you. So let's do that. All right, let's see where we're at right now. Okay, we've got that mounted. Now this is going to get tie wrapped right there. This gets connected to 
the trailer uh, wiring right here. Now it's got a cap on it, so I'm going to remove the cap. Then that gets connected here. These two get a tie wrap, so then these are connected, fastened together here. Then this comes out to here. It gets rooted behind the bumper using these two holes with tie wraps. Then it goes out to the mount right here. Okay, so I'm gonna make that connection. Uh, it does say in the instructions to remove the battery connection, um, but I'm not gonna bother. Uh, and then I'm gonna fit that plastic piece up here and make sure there's no interference with anything. Make sure it goes up nice and easy. And uh, last will just be to fasten that. So I'll be back. All right, here's the finished product, okay? So I've got this attached at this angle. I got a tie wrap here. This is now connected to the trailer wiring. This original harness gets zip tied to this piece. And I've got, it gets rooted behind the bumper. I've got two tie wraps here. And then this will fasten when we're done. So now I want to hang that plastic piece, make sure there's no interference with anything. All right, plastic covers up, everything looks good, and let's do the last part of this. All right, this is really straightforward here. Basically, I'm getting a little windstorm here. Basically, we're just gonna go position this like that, and I've got four uh, screws and nuts that are gonna secure it in each one of these holes, so let's do that. Okay, here it is fastened, and the last thing we need is that trim piece, so let's go get that. All right, here's the trim piece here. It's got the cutout for the wiring. Uh, these are the two mounting uh, holes here. Everything else snaps. But let me just show you this real quick. Now, I kept this piece on, thinking that the trim piece would fasten to it just like the old one well that's not the case it actually uses these holes in the hitch so I'm going to remove these two brackets I don't need them and I'll show you how that goes on all right so we're just going to position this you can actually see where each one of these tabs is going to slide in So, I'll start with these. Alright, I'm going to get under the car so I can see the sides. Alright, let me show you one quick thing here before we... Um, finish this trim piece see this little tab that little piece of plastic you want to have that behind this trim piece okay so when it fastens you want it behind there now it's still not fastened up here I think I think I have to get under the car to do that but that tab make sure it's behind there all right with the trim all snapped the only thing to do now is to put the four fasteners in these things here now we have two left over from when we pulled the old one out and they go in the same place. So basically you're just pushing that through. And the two new ones they give you with the trim and they're gonna go right here and right there. All right, we're all done here. So everything's on we've got here's a seven pin connector i have my trailer on it lights all work fine receiver so very straightforward installation um i'm gonna have all the oem part numbers for the pieces in my video in the description of my video uh you could buy each piece separately or in my case i was able to find a seller on amazon that uh bundled it so 
uh, the price was a little bit better so hopefully that helps you guys um, I am gonna do the brake controller that'll get mounted up front um, that'll be a separate video because people that got this car with the tow package might want to see how to do the brake controller so that'll be separate but hopefully this helped you guys and uh, if you do this installation yourself you'll probably find that it's pretty straightforward